In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a Node.js version manager called FNM. So as always, you can find all of the commands that I run in this video over on my blog. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, so why would you wanna use a Node version manager? So imagine that you have two different projects that you're working on on your system. And one is like a legacy project that you wanna keep on Node version 10 point whatever, right? And for a newer project that you're about to start, you want to use a node version, a contemporary version of node, something like 14 or whatever the newest version is when you're watching this. Um, you could possibly figure out how to move in between both of those and install both of them and deal with all that. Or you could just let a node version manager do all that for you, which will make it a lot easier. Um, another thing that it helps you with is if you've ever used um, Node before, you most likely use it in tandem with uh, NPM or Node Package Manager. Uh, if you've used NPM before, you've probably ran into like a lot of permissions issues and having to use sudo and like all this stuff. So instead of dealing with all of that, um, if you have a Node version manager, you won't have to worry about permissions issues anymore. Um, now, if you have used one before, you've probably heard of MVM. It's just Node Version Manager. It's another one you can use instead of FNM. The reason that I use FNM is because it's significantly faster. So what do I mean by that? So when you open up a new terminal, if you're currently using MVM, you may notice that it takes a while for your prompt to render. And that's literally because of NVM. Um, I remember when I was using it before, I was trying to figure out like what is making my prompt so slow and I finally root caused it to MVM. So ever since switching to FNM, I haven't had that issue. All right, so if you want to install um, on Mac, all you have to do is brew install schniz tap FNM. And on Linux, you can do, just make sure that you have curl installed first. Um, and then after installing curl, you're just gonna want, want to run this command right here. So what this will do is put fnm in home.local bin, and this is just like a, um, a standard path, essentially, for putting your like local executables. So what you're gonna wanna do after that is if you don't already have um, this in your path or as bin in your path, then you're gonna wanna do export path uh, home user.local bin. Actually, you don't even need the fnm here at the end. And you just wanna prepend this to your path. All right, so to upgrade, it's basically the exact same thing. The only difference is um, you can do skip shell for this, and it won't add this following line to your Z shell RC or bash RC. Um, so you don't want to do that every single time that you install FNM. Uh, do make sure, however, that this is in your bash RC or Z shell RC for both Mac and Linux. Uh, otherwise, you'll have you'll be able to use the executable, but it won't actually. Um, use the node versions that you're choosing if you don't have this in your bash rc or z shell rc all right so now we can go over some of the commands so you can do fnm ls remote to start with and so what this does is it shows you every single different node version that you can use and pull down right so this is pretty much all of them right here the ones that i have in green are ones that i have installed um, and the one that is in blue is one that i have installed and that i'm currently using but a better way to look at that is just to do, um, and we'll just clear the screen here, is to just do FNM LS. So what this will do is it'll show you all of the local versions of Node that you can swap between. Um, you'll notice this one says default, and I'll go over that in a second, but these are all the ones that I have uh, on my local machine. All right, so if you want to install a new one, um, you could have just grabbed any of those versions like 13.14.0 or 14.7.0 or whatever the newest version that you want is. Um, to swap between currently active versions, right now I'm on 14.7.0. You can tell it because if I do node flag V, it comes up with 14.7.0. Um, so instead we'll use 13.14. Uh, so I'll do FNM use 13.14.0. All right, and now I'm using that. How you can tell is you can just do node flag V, or you could do FNM current, which is basically just an alias to node flag V. All right, so speaking of aliasing, you can actually alias a version number here to a name. So much like how this one's default, we could say that, um, let's see, we could do FNM alias, um, and we'll just change this to seven. So we're gonna do FNM alias 14.0 or 14.7.0 to newest. All right, and so now if I do FNM ls, 
that's all newest. And now I can swap back to 14.7.0 by doing FNM, whoops, FNM, NM, uh, use newest. All right, and now you'll see if I do this again, we're on 14.7.0. All right, so the last thing that I'll go over, I'll go over two more things, um, is defaulting ones. So like you can swap between defaults. So right now I have 12.16.3 as my default. So imagine that I wanted to use, I don't know, 13.14 as my default. So we'll do a default and then we'll do 13.14.0. And now if you do FNM LS, you can see now that 13.14.0 is the default. So anytime that you open up a new terminal um, and you do node flag V, it'll be 13.14.0 because that's the default. So that's the difference between default and like a regular alias is whenever you open up a new terminal, it'll automatically choose the default. All right. Uh, the last thing that I'll go over is uninstalling. So if you want to do FNM uninstall, I didn't add it because I just, I don't know, it's pretty intuitive. You just do 11.15.0. So you'll just do FNM uninstall and then pick a version number here. All right, and now it just gets rid of that for you. All right, so that's pretty much it. So versioning Node should be a lot easier and faster now. You won't have to deal with permissions issues with uh, NPM. So I think overall, this is probably the best way to deal with Node versions on your system. Um, I left a link to the author of, the, um, of this FNM or this Node Manager. Um, make sure you go and give them a star. I think this is a much less well-known project than NVM. So I recommend checking this one out though. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.